Hello, so as you can see, I'm finally at the airport in Oslo. This is not my final destination, this is just um, one of the stops I have to, to take until there because I'm going up north. You're gonna see later on in the video where I'm going. But until then I have a four, four and a half hour wait here. So I'm going to just quickly go and grab a bite because I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Evening was it? I don't know. So uh, I just feel the need to, to get something to eat and then I'll take you around here where I'll see. Maybe I'll start editing something. like 7 30 7 40 a.m and we woke up a little late for Finmar's Lepe and uh, on the tracking app it says that the the first contestant it's supposed to arrive in a few minutes so we're struggling to get there in time hopefully we'll make it Basically, currently the first contestant has arrived and they just announced that the second one will be here in around two hours and so the competition will continue to uh, unfold until tomorrow I think tomorrow morning because uh, this is the, uh, th the 1200 race so it takes them quite some time to, to reach the spot but it's just amazing to see uh, the, the first person who, who arrived said that he didn't really sleep the first two nights if I understood it correctly my Norwegian isn't that good yet so uh, he just continued going and going which is <laughs> really really crazy the, the second person who's supposed to arrive is quite behind so this put him at an advantage which is great Hi, so I'm back in the city center. It's around 11.30, 11.40 and we're waiting for the next contestant to show up. I heard speculation that he's going to come in around an hour, but from uh, the DPS, uh, which we used to track him, I would estimate around 40, 45 minutes. Well, I hope <laughs> it's that. Uh, it's really exciting, people are starting to show up again, of course nobody's going to stay here from morning till evening till night and tomorrow morning because um, there's a lot, there's like 19 contestants that are, that are on their way and none of them are, like nobody knows for certain when they all will arrive. So we're just enjoying, we went uh, me and my mom went a little bit shopping and uh, yeah, now I'm just waiting here and enjoying the weather because it's really warm, it's, it's really um, unexpected here, so uh, that's pretty amazing.
We have reached this beautiful ice hotel. It's basically, as it's called, like made of ice. These are like massive, massive blocks of ice. They're so freezing cold. But because the weather is so warm outside, it's starting to melt, which is really weird here. Seeing as this hotel is supposed to last until mid April, I think. And now it's March and it's still not holding up as it should be but it's it's gorgeous it's just you look at it and you're like it's amazing so this is the church and some people actually get married here it's a really interesting idea Basically, you can rent out a night here and from what I heard you sleep on basic sleeping bags but the suits are like so much more amazing like look at these oh they're so relaxing they're actually very fluffy and very warm but of course they are like real animal fur and so they have quite a powerful smell to them but if you don't mind they're just Amazing. This is one of the suites. It's so gorgeous. 